I'm so honored that um, this morning we'll uh, take the time to honor a remarkable woman, Council Member Susan Brooks, and we're honoring her for her 34 years of service to the residents of Rancho Palos Verdes. You and I have become friends, which many people would find unusual. Wouldn't this be a nice country if we had more uh, Republicans and Democrats getting together and going to the movies? Hey, Susan. It's John, your friend. How are you? Congratulations on so many years of being mayor and city council member in our beautiful city. It's because of you in 1994 where I got involved politically and helped you with your congressional campaign. You didn't win, but you went to Washington and you almost won and you probably did win if they did a vote recount. Anyhow, I've learned so much from you. You've done so much for our city. Um, I'm very proud of all the things you've done. And uh, we'll, of course, stay in touch as uh, we move forward in our paradise, as you say. And uh, I was just sitting here. We were reminiscing about all the amazing, funny things you've said with our city council. Oh, there's a way to make it quiet. Anybody comes to my house and you <laughs> cause any trouble at my house? Uh, that, that was pretty funny. You've had some really good lines. And sometimes you even sing during the city council meetings just to add a little charm to the meetings. Uh, anyhow, uh, good luck in your city council retirement. I'm sure there's big and better things ahead of you. And thank you for everything you've done for me. And uh, good luck to you. Hey, Susan, it's Eric here, your friend and colleague over the last two years on the council. Thank you for all the work that you've done for the city for the last eight years. Your passion has really been unparalleled in our city and our community's all the better for it. Uh, thank you for also just your friendship over the years. I still remember when we first met and crossed paths at the campaign trail in 2011. And I have to say, I've learned a lot from watching the way that you've advocated for all the good things to happen in our city. So thank you, uh, God bless you, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Hi, Susan. Hey, you've done a lot of things with uh, bubbles and the honor wall, but really the thing you're going to be remembered for more than anything else, the effort you put in in Washington, D.C. to get our Upper Point Vicente project put together with a different boundary and they're relinquishing some of the restrictions. Thank you so much. That's going to be a great heritage for us to live with. This is Mayor Jerry Dehovic, and I'd like to say a few words about outgoing Councilwoman Susan Brooks, former mayor, former planning commissioner. The list is very long. Susan, I just want to say thank you for your many years of service to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, I think it's been pushing two decades of official service, but you were involved in multiple things that weren't official like so many of our residents are. So I think it's well over two or three decades and you're to be commended for that. So thank you for your service to the city. I can tell you being on council with you for eight years has been my distinct honor and pleasure. Uh, we've had our moments, as, as does everyone, but the good far outweighed anything that I would call a moment. I've learned a lot from you. Uh, you know, you, I, I say Ken Dida bleeds RPV blue and green, and you do the same. Uh, the city is much better for your service, and uh, I know that that will continue well into the future, so I look forward to seeing you around the peninsula. Uh, hopefully in, in different endeavors. So congratulations to you on a job well done, continued success, and from the residents of Rancho Palos Verdes, thank you very much. You know, everywhere I go in Rancho Palos Verdes, people know Susan Brooks. I meet people in the gym and they say, oh, I'm a friend of Susan's. I meet people in the grocery store, oh, I'm a friend of Councilmember Brooks. And it's amazing the people that know her, the people that appreciate her, the people that she's befriended in this city that she calls paradise over many years here. And it's been so great to, to work with her and work for her. So Susan was always of good cheer and looking for the best, and her care for this city is unparalleled, and I'm just so fortunate to have been able to work with her. Hi, Susan. Um, I want to take this opportunity to extend my my greatest appreciation for all that you have done for the community over the last eight plus years. I know you've you've done a lot 
for the city um, in so many capacities when you first were on the council and, and the last eight years while you were on the council. Well, I had the fortune of, of working with you so closely on so many different uh, aspects and, and um, projects with the city, whether it was the coyotes, the peafowl, the preserve, um, some of the development applications. You've always been very supportive of staff, very supportive of me, and I can't ex um, express my appreciation. I truly wish you the best of luck and, and I hope you stay in touch and congratulations and job well done. You really advanced um, the policies of the city and the city council and I think the city is a much better place because of the mark that you left on this community. Thank you and best of luck. Hi Susan, I just wanted to tell you I'm going to miss you. Um, I have enjoyed so much our time working together um, at RPV. Um, I've always loved that you have always just loved other people so much and that you've always wanted to try to help people in every way. And I think that's probably one of the best things about you. So I just want to wish you good luck on your post-council life. I know you're going to go on to keep doing fun things and stay involved in this community. And I just really want to wish you the best. Hi, Susan. I hope all is well with you. It was a pleasure getting to meet you, work with you. Uh, I always remember when you took time to call me with problems and issues, and it was it was really a pleasure to have those problems resolved uh, for you. I remember one of the issues that uh, you really wanted me to resolve had to do with that no U-turn sign at uh, at Grace Lake and and Hawthorne. We got that taken care of. So I hope you're happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I want to wish you the best because you, your heart is in the right place and you're a lovely woman. And best wishes to you. Susan, we'll miss you. We love you. And we wish you all the best. But we know we'll be seeing you cooking in the kitchen. Welcome to another exciting cooking segment with Susan. And Susan, don't forget to keep on tuning into RPV TV. Hi Susan, just wanted to tell you how proud we are of you. You have done a great job for the, all these years watching over the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and people here. We love you, congratulations. Love you Susan. Hi mom, I just wanted to say congratulations. We're so proud of you and all of the work that you've done for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. I will be lucky to be half as amazing as you are. and. I can't wait to spend more time with you in this next chapter. Love you. Hi, Nana. We love you. Mom, we're so proud of you. We're all so proud of you on um, all of your accomplishments. And, um, and you've done so much for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And now we're looking to just have a little more time with you. And we love you. Bye, Nana. Bye, See you at Christmas. Nana. 